me Olivia and um, today I'm going to be teaching you this today I'm going to be teaching you how to make iced coffee so I have this nearly every morning now but I've just gone off it for a bit but now I'm into it again um, so the things that you're going to need is a mug any type um, coffee of your choice um, a glass, it doesn't have to be a jar glass, um, but I think it looks cute like that. Some straws if you want some straws. Um, sugar, sorry about that, I'm going to that ground, it's just Hoover. So, what you want, and a kettle. Take the kettle. I've got this Brazil one. And this video is not sponsored. So that's it. Um, so I'm just gonna like go like that, so then you can see my um, things that I'm gonna be using. So I'm just gonna pop the kettle on. Um, make sure that's full. But that has already been on, so my mum's just done it. It's still boiling hot. So what I want to do then, you want to leave it to cool for a few minutes. It doesn't have to be freezing cold, but it just has to be still a bit scalding hot, but warm at the same time. So, it really... Oh, um, and you're going to need milk, if you want milk. If you want a black coffee, then do milk. And some sugar or, or something. So, first you're going to take your mug, or whatever you're putting it in. Take a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Um, open it and put how many you want. I like to make it quite strong, so I'm going to put two in. Well, basically two and a half. So I'm going to put them there. I'm going to take the thing out and pop in the um, hot water. Listen, it still will be hot, but make sure that you with you're with someone for this. And if you think that you put a little bit too much in, then just empty it out into the sink and then wipe it down like this. Right, so that should be enough for mine. Um, and now what you want to do is you're just going to stir it all up until it dissolves. I'll try and bring it a bit so then. Can't really see, but I'll we'll just do it that way. So, can you see? You can't really see very well. But it's just black at the moment and just make sure that all them follicles have um, dissolved. So then, give it a really good stir. And then what you want to do is you want to take your semi-skim milk, and it depends how um, how milky you want it or how cough, how strong you want it. So I'm just gonna put it up to the top. that and then give it a stir and see how that looks. That's probably really good for me so I'm going to keep that. Give you a little tiny bit more on my spoon. There we go. Right and now you're going to take sugar if you want sugar. If you don't have to have this sugar. But I like sugar in it because it makes it a little bit more sweeter. So I'm going to put two of these in. Mix it up well. And then you want to put it into your glass. If you have a funnel, then that will be better to use a 
for, for now. Fill it up to where it goes up to. That's where that goes up to. I think it looks super cute. And then add a straw if you want to. Put it in, in here. I don't know which one to do. I'm gonna have a green one. So pull it out. There we go. And that is your coffee done. But just to give it a bit of a cool taste, because it's iced coffee, then go ahead and put it in the fridge and put a few ice cubes in. So I'm just going to go and do that. Wait, no, I'm not. Let me just see how this tastes. Oh, it smells so nice. That is nice. It's very sugary, but it is really good. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!